Okay, so if you're struggling to turn in the downswing, okay, so you feel like you're that kind of golfer who gets quite sort of stuck, a little bit sort of handsy, and you sort of feel like you're missing something in your golf swing, and you don't get that sense of turning through the ball and propelling your arms towards the target, then this video is very much for you because these are the same problems that I encounter as a coach all of the time. Now, let's start with the basics, which is the backswing position. Because there's two things we're gonna talk about in this video. One is the backswing position, the second one is your posture. But let's start with the backswing position because that will make more sense when we come back to talking about the posture. Um, sequence, so what should happen in the golf swing is we should be moving very much our hands and arms and our upper body first in that golf swing backswing position okay so as i take this club back you can see the way my hands and arms move very much first it's my arms followed by my chest and a little bit of pelvis rotation what it isn't my backswing is not a composition of lots of lower body motion okay because if my lower body starts turning really early in the backswing what's going to happen is the club is going to get dragged behind me Okay, and then also I'm going to end up getting really stuck and I'm going to be swinging the club in the wrong direction, which is why most golfers end up hitting it off the back leg or they have some sort of like, you know, compensation in the downswing position to some degree. So face on perspective is a really telling sign. What you are trying to achieve is by the time you get back to a left arm or lead arm horizontal position, you want to achieve a couple of things. One, you want to keep your head still. And two, you want to make sure that you are getting the feeling of lifting the club up. So my arms are doing a lot of lifting. And what I mean by that is if I bring the club out in front of me, like so and like so. So my left arm is moving up and across my chest to get me into this position. Now, there is gonna be some rotational movement, but what I'm trying to say is it's not this, okay? It's more of a lift. Okay, and look, see the way I allow my pelvis just to move a little bit to the right, and that helps me lift that club up. What I don't do is I don't turn my pelvis centrally because this makes the pelvis too downward facing and it means that I'm stuck. Okay, because I'm going to be over this way. So, see the way I allow the pelvis to move a little bit to the right as I lift my arms up, and this gets me into a really good early backswing position. Now, from this early backswing position, with this lifting of the arms, what I can now do is just turn and see the way how easy that is to complete that backswing. So loads of golfers don't understand the backswing sequence and they start turning too much instead of fundamentally lifting your arms first and then you can drop the club down on the back of the golf ball. And that's gonna feel so easy. You're gonna be absolutely surprised by how easy it feels just to lift your arms up and then you can drop them coming in towards that downswing. So that's the first thing. Now. The second thing is when you start working on your arms moving more up and down, the swing's gonna feel different because the swing itself is gonna feel more up and down and you're gonna feel like your arms are gonna to wanna to stay closer to you and that's a good thing because if my arms stay closer, the club face stays more stable. When my arms go out, the club face opens up more. So what you're looking for now is if you can start making some swings where it's more of an up and down feeling of the arms, then what you can start to do is you can start to adjust your posture so you stand a little bit closer. And what you're looking to achieve is a posture where you're closer to the ball, but with a better bend of the hip. So see this position where I am here. Okay, see so my arms hang down nice and vertically. Okay, so I've got a nice bend of the hip. And for most amateur golfers, obviously I can't speak for everybody, particularly if I haven't seen you swing, but most amateurs tend to sit something more like this. Because again, you sort of think, well, I'll turn like this and then I can get into the downswing, but it's just not that, okay? Because like I say, once you've got here and here, you're just gonna get stuck in it from the inside or you're gonna have some sort of compensation. So what we wanna do is we wanna feel like we're way taller. Nice bend of the hip, but you wanna feel like you're way taller, almost lighter on your feet. And then from there, you just wanna lift that club up and then you can rotate nicely on the way through. And I promise you, if you can encourage yourself to stand that a little bit closer, feel a little bit taller, a little bit more athletic, and accompany that with a backswing sequence where you're thinking more about lifting your arms as opposed to excessive body rotation, you're gonna find it's so much easier, as I've been sort of hopefully demonstrating just throughout this video, if you can get yourself into these sort of positions, you're gonna find it way easier to turn coming in towards that downswing position. So work on it, let me know, and I'll catch up with you guys again really soon.